I'd like to take a look at using different buffer weights. So I've got three varieties. Uh, these are rifle length buffers. And in one variety I've taken most of the uh, weights out of it. I'll get some, weight, uh, some actual weights later. But uh, just generally one of these buffers is going to have no weights inside. Another buffer is going to be standard, which you would get with a UTG stock kit. And then the black buffer there is a CAC tungsten buffer, which will be the heaviest. The reason for shooting different buffers is the Dracos barrels do not come with adjustable gas blocks. So, my attempt will be to see what effect buffer weight has on cartridge ejection pattern. And should we have, just based on a stock configuration, an under or over gassed ejection pattern, then perhaps the different weight buffer will assist us in getting near the 3 o'clock ejection, which is optimal. And from your vantage point, what I'm looking to capture is, again, off the brass deflector, there'll be an ejection pattern, and we'll see where they collect. Ultimately, this is starting with the lowest weight buffer, 2 and 3 eighths ounces. But I will not be rapid firing, I'll be trying to get in solid to the setup here, so that each of those extractions is consistent. Uh, today we're just shooting some uh, Wolf or Tula ammo, uh, steel case stuff. Alright, here we go. Six shots. I could see out of my periphery that they were going to the one and two o'clock position. And from the gun, it is at the one and about the one o'clock position. All of them consistently are there. So let me uh, swap out the buffers and then we'll retest or we'll reshoot that. Get more recording. All right. So, cameraman is going to slide over the brass pile is about eight foot to the one one thirty position of the firearm that's with the lightest weight buffer okay thank you all right put in the stock weight buffer that came with this particular uh, kit setup so I've put the uh, stock one in we'll button this back up load from a bolt open Some more rounds going hot So a little bit more towards the 3 o'clock. They're not as consistent as the lightweight buffer in terms of spread of where they landed. This is more of a 130 to 3. So we'll average that in terms of where we stack the pile and where we take the next video for reference. Alright, we'll try to give you perspective of this pile. Stock buffer weight. About the 2 o'clock. 230 position off the gun, and again, 7 to 8 feet out. Over here was the first 
uh, pile that we made, and then over here is the average of where they landed on the second. This is a CAC Industries uh, tungsten buffer. Don't remember what I paid, but over 50 bucks probably for it. Cooperate. There we go. Load from an open bolt. I have not moved the sticks or the firearm through this test, so I've tried to keep everything aligned as it originally was uh, through these buffers. All right, cameraman, if you'll back almost straight up from where you're at, you'll see where this pile landed. So almost to the 3 o'clock position. Again, if you look over this way, you have lightest weight buffer, stock weight buffer, and then 4 ounces of difference with the heavy weight is about a foot of difference. And these are average piles. Obviously, the brass didn't pile up like that, but we took the average of where they all landed and put the pile there. So that's how I am tuning um, function on a rifle without an adjustable gas block is through varying buffer weights for the remainder of the shooting and what I'll probably stick with on this setup is the heavyweight buffer uh, because 3 o'clock is just optimal in terms of the brass dispensing into the brass catcher uh, and that is where they say is the best ejection pattern to have. So hope you uh, found this information beneficial.